feel like I've accomplished a lot, um, but I feel as though, you know, the sky's the limit and, and let's just keep going. Callie Flanagan holds the hockey trifecta, an Olympic gold medal, world championship title, and Isabel Cup. I just love hockey so much and I love, you know, the team aspect and being around my teammates and, and I think I think it's what my teammates are definitely what drives me um, wanting to win with, the, with them and for them. Early on, she ditched her figure skates for hockey, stepping on the ice with the boys until she was 14. I went to National Sports Academy, which was in Lake Placid, for high school, and that was like my first experience on a real girls hockey team, and it was awesome. I had a great experience there, and it was a lot of fun, but it definitely was a learning curve switching from boys to girls. And she adjusted quickly, earning a spot on the Boston College women's hockey team. So it was my junior year um, of college when I first made my senior national team camp. Um, I got a phone call from Regan Carey, and she said, you know, we picked you for the world championships for 2017, and, and we want you to be part of Team USA, and, and that was just the, the coolest phone call of my life, honestly. <laughs> The very next day, I got a phone call from our captain, Megan Duggan, um, and she basically was like, look, this is what we're doing. We're gonna boycott the 2017 World Championship if we don't come to you know, a fair conclusion with USA Hockey on you know, our contract negotiations. They did come to a fair conclusion and went on to take home the title on home soil. So right after 2017 Worlds, we had tryouts in May um, down in Florida, and then I um, was fortunate enough to make that roster. Obviously, it was really exciting to be able to be named to the Olympic team, but then to be able to go on to the Olympics and, and win a gold medal for the first time since, you know, 98 um, for, you know, everyone who came before us and, and the next generations was really awesome. Callie continues to put in the work on and off the ice. I usually get up around eight. I take my dog out, Finley, make breakfast, and then I'm out the door. To the gym, Mike Boyle, um, strength and conditioning is where I work out. And then I drive up to the rink, Cyclone Serena. It's in Hudson, New Hampshire, so it's about a 45 minute drive from the gym. And then I skate with NCDC, whether I'm skating in my full equipment or have my track seat on as that player coach role. And then skate for like an hour and a half usually. You guys are going that together. I run the D um, and I'm the assistant coach. And so I think for me, um, it's been a lot of fun. And like I said, to be with my dad, we get to spend time together and, and I get to learn from him. So it's been awesome. After a quick trip home to eat and regroup, she's off to the South Shore for pride practice. It's honestly amazing what some of my teammates do, some of the jobs that they have, they work full time and, and they show up to the rink every day at 9 p.m. for practice and everyone is excited to be there and they work hard um, and they give everything, everything that they have um, for the time that we're together. And the team is chasing down their third Isabel Cup, not just for bragging rights this time, but for their young fans. I think it's awesome that we have these little girls that come to our games and you know they're watching um, the pride and they're watching players and they get to see us play and I think it's really important for them.